guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an eye tutorial over the eye look that I'm wearing today and I'm calling this a really quick and simple daytime appropriate glowy summer eye look because I think this is so pretty for every day. It kind of has that metallic foiled effect and it just makes your eyes pop. I've debated on calling this a single eyeshadow challenge because way back at the very end of my drawer is this little box of dusty old single eyeshadows that I never use anymore. And I'm really excited to create a look with just single shadows because I know a lot of you don't want to spend money on palettes. You just want something you can go to the drugstore and pick up. When I'm not filming and showing you guys what I'm using and stuff, it literally takes me less than 10 minutes. Yeah, if you guys want to see how to get this super super quick and simple daytime appropriate summery rose gold eye look then please keep watching so the first thing i did is go in with an eye primer and i've been loving this sephora colorful shadow and liner this is in the shade secret boudoir this is basically a concealer for your eyelids this acts the same way as something like the mac soft ochre paint pot where it's going to completely conceal your eyelids but i am going to go in with a matte eyeshadow and just set all that just because creams and liquids are more prone to creasing so you want to set it in place so it doesn't crease. The next thing I'm going to do is go in with a cream or liquid eyeshadow just to act as a base. This is the Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow paint in the shade Peachy Apricot. So all I'm going to do is apply this all over my eyelid and tap that out with my finger. So the reason I'm using a liquid cream eyeshadow like this is because layered under your powder eyeshadows it's really going to make your eyeshadow pop. It's going to make them more foiled and metallic. So the next eyeshadow I'm going to use is one that was used literally all the time back in the day like when this came out you saw it in prom tutorials wedding tutorials literally every kind of eye tutorial you could think of this is the l'oreal infallible eyeshadow in the shade amber rush and it's just a really really pretty shimmery metallic rose gold shade so i'm just going to pop that all over the eyelid and i'm going to put this a little bit higher than what i normally do usually i stop it right at the socket i don't take any shimmer in the crease but today i'm going to put it up just a little bit higher just literally right at the edge of the crease so the next eyeshadow i'm going to use is completely optional you do not have to do this step but since i'm trying to make this more of a completed eye look i'm going to do it i'm going to go in with the l'oreal infallible eyeshadow in the shade bronze taupe and just very lightly put this in the outer v just to give it a little bit of shadow and depth I'm actually going to go back in with Amber Rush in just a second and pat this all over the eyelid again just to intensify it. You are still going to be able to see a little bit of that dimension underneath Amber Rush, so that's why I'm doing it. So like I said, I'm going to go back into Amber Rush and put this all over the eyelid again. And just to make it more foiled and wet looking, I'm going to spray my brush with a setting spray just to get it damp. And then I'm going to pat that all over the eyelid, covering up bronze taupe. But like I said earlier, you will be able to see that shadow and that depth in there. So it's not completely useless, but... It's really not that necessary. So now I'm going to go in with a matte eyeshadow for the crease. I'm going to use the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow in the shade Bella Cappuccino. But honestly, you could use whatever you have. You don't have to go out and pick this up because this isn't really my favorite shade, to be honest. But since it's a single eyeshadow, we're using it. Now I'm going to go in with eyeliner and line the top lash line. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil in the shade You're the Yen. This is basically just a super, super jet black eyeliner. So I'm just going to line really close to the lash line and then wing it out with a smaller winged eyeliner brush. So just to go ahead and finish up the eyeshadow on top, I'm going to go in with a brow bone highlight now. I'm just going to use the Coastal Sins eyeshadow in the shade Chamois Nude, which is just a really pretty matte neutral bone color. And I'm just going to put that right below the brow bone and kind of wiggle my brush down to meet the crease shade. This is what I like to do just to clean it up. And then I'm going to take a larger blending brush and just blend all in the crease up to the brow bone just to diffuse and soften all that. So now I'm going to go off camera and do my brows, mascara, and the rest of my face. So to finish up the lower lash line, I don't want to do anything too harsh or too smoky. So I'm just going to go back into that Milani eyeshadow and just very lightly smudge this along the lower lash line. Like I said, I don't want to make this too smoky, so I'm not going to do a whole lot. Then for my inner corner highlight, I'm just going to use the highlighter that I used on my face, which is the Hard Candy Tiki Bronzer. And then to finish up the look, we're going to go in with some mascara on the lower lashes. So I do want to give you guys a rundown of what I'm wearing on the rest of my face. For my brows, I'm going to use the Koki Professional Brow Kit in the shade Blonde. This is my favorite brow product. For mascara, I'm going to mix the Koki Professional Volume and Length Mascara with the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt. So for my face, I wanted to go with more of a glowy look because in the summertime, I like to be more glowy and dewy. So I went with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation in the shade W3. So for my lips, I wanted to go with a really pretty nude lip. So I used the ColourPop Lip Liner in the shade BFF with the Maybelline Lipstick in the shade 920 Nude Lust. For my bronzer, I used the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm in the shade 10 Alot Medium Bronze. This is a liquid 
liquid bronzer. I love this. And then I set it with the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. For blush, I use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick in the shade Peach Bums. And then I set that with the Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade Dolce Pink. These are literally the exact same thing. This is a cream form. This is the powder form. And then for highlight, I use the Hard Candy So Baked Bronzer in the shade Tiki. This is an oldie but a goodie. Look at that. Look at it. It's beautiful. So I'm back with a different lip on because I wanted to show you guys different lip combinations you can wear with this look because I think it looks really pretty with a nude lip or more of a bright bold lip like this. Sometimes you want to kind of kick it up a notch. So this is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Julep, which is a very, very pretty, kind of like a watermelon red shade. And it just looks so pretty with this look. So that is it for this eye tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. All the links are below. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mwah.